Well, good evening, one and all, or good morning, whatever the time it is when you're watching this. Um, we've come down to Budel Bay. Um, I was down here a few weeks ago for sunrise when the tide was out, but this evening, this is the first sunset pretty much of the year. Uh, actually, purposely going out for one. And um, of course, I'm here with Alan who never waves or acknowledges that he's on camera or anything as I turn the camera around so he misses that uh, the yes, we'll come down, it's high tide we, we aren't going to be able to walk around that bit there because the tide's right in so we're going to have to do some dune scaling I think could be entertaining, I'm already out of breath so yeah not as sure what we're going to shoot today. I've brought, obviously brought the D850 down. I've just brought the wide angle lens. I uh, kept it fairly minimal because of all the walking to get along here. I didn't want to carry loads of stuff, so all very minimal. And we'll just start to see what happens. Ideal path. <laughs> it's a good job somebody put wellies on then, Alan, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Not a lot of grip on them wellies. <laughs> Still managed to go on doom. Well, we've traversed the uh, the awkward bits, hiking through the dunes and over the rocks to get along here. The sea is quite surprisingly far, far in. I've never been long here when it's been so. When, it, when it's had uh, what's it called? High, high, highish tide. Always come here at a low tide because you get much better imagery along the along the estuary bit. Uh, it's not really an estuary; it's an inlet, the bay. You know what I mean. Technical terminology and me don't mix. So yeah, along this side, nice bit of sea on. Looking quite nice. Um, yeah, really no idea what I'm going to shoot today. Minimal kit. Probably ICM. A bit of ICM. Maybe some ordinary landscape photography as well. But, thing is I haven't got my tripod with us, apart from this one. So might be a bit of a another mixed bag video of not really sure what what I'm here for or what I'm doing but that's isn't that it's not always the way when it's me right first thing I've spotted is this little uh, scene that somebody's made um, Obviously somebody's yarked in a great big branch, big tree, whatever it is. In on there, a couple of lobster pots, crab pots, whatever, whichever dom denomination you are. Uh, one in foreground, one nuclear, but nearby. And then in the in the far distant background, we have uh, Lindisfarne Castle way over there in the distance. So I'm thinking maybe he's just trying to blend all these together, get a shot. Just a simple handheld thing. Maybe he's crouched down a bit, a little bit low. Uh, let's see how it goes. It's all it. It's what it's all about. Just having a bit of play. Yes, yeah, so a normal shot. Um, I haven't not looking at settings yet, but I'll drop it down to where's the button gone. Drop it down to ISO 64. Figure out the settings after that. Um, probably shoot on auto, not auto. Aperture Braille, just gonna do it handheld and see how things turn out. Not expecting miracles because it's me. Right, one of the things that's not quite working compositionally on this one is the elongated shadow coming from this lobster pot here. 
it's really dragging the eye way out of frame so may just have to work with that the, the, the upstanding tree on the back lobster pot just to see how things are so yeah we'll, we'll rearrange right so coming in a bit closer hopefully this will maybe work a little bit better now we've got the problem of the the castle in the background is pretty much right behind the tree so I might just take take it from that side of into the castle on that side basically take a few shots see what happens All right, I don't think any of that was of any good at all. And uh, now it's just, as per usual when it comes to me and landscape photography is, just walking around aimlessly, looking, looking for something pretty to aim the camera at. Um, still a bit to go before sunset. Sunset's something like yeah, 50 minutes away yet still. A while to go. But it's a beautiful day. It's been, uh, it's been a beautiful day. Gorgeous evening. It's just nice to be out. Right, one of the other, other favourite things I do when I'm out doing landscape photography, when I'm with Alan, is basically approach him from behind, see what he's shooting, and basically shoot over his shoulder because he. He can spot these things called compositions, which I can't. So to make sure I get at least one decent shot per shoot is basically copy what Alan does. Because uh, he is the... He can, he can do all this kind of stuff. I can wobble a camera around all over the place and make it look pretty later on. But this guy knows how to actually shoot in the field. So, so basically I love coming out with Alan because all I've got to do is copy him. Fantastic. Get yourself a buddy like Alan, let them lead the way, and just follow. It's great stuff. Right, um, when you, of course, when you're in glorious conditions like, such as this and fantastic vistas, still got to keep your eye on the floor. Uh, so just down here, just the way the the water is just very gently lapping on the edge of the uh, on the edge of the sand there. You can see the ripples in the sand as the water has receded, just leaving very subtle lines, which is fantastic. And just a little bit behind the camera there is some more motley kind of ridges in the sand, which look quite cool, leading away into the into the background. You know, right round to the what was the the jetty and all that kind of stuff, and the, now the holiday ca campsite and stuff behind. So that works way lovely that way, so I'm just going to do a couple of handheld shots on those and on these abstracty kind of lines, just see, see how they come out. Just something different. You've, got to, you've just got to keep looking for various things. You never know what you're going to get. So basically, I'm, I'm now spoiling the landscape because I am now treading on these uh, lovely markings. A little bit, you know, so it's out of shot, so it's not too that, not that bad. Not spoiling too much. So I'm not spoiling it too much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the water's edge uh, and just basically shoot this curving, curving image that goes away into the distance, or oh, to that point there. Um, and maybe I'll maybe put on the six stop and give it give it a bit of left and right wiggle with the uh, bit of ICM just to, just basically to see how it turns out. Uh, we've got some lovely clouds, stark wispy clouds coming, which should hopefully catch a bit of bit of colour once the sun drops below the horizon. We're getting the other. 
we're getting nearer uh, for all that. So, so yeah, that's the that's what I'm about to do now. Hopefully, I don't fall in the water. Basically throwing everything, what I, everything I've got, to try to nail this shot. So, lots of frames, lot, uh, lots of frames, lots of exposures, uh, lots of shots of varying settings. Just trying to keep make sure that I get it as sharp as possible without using this damn tripod thing, because uh, that's not my style. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the light is getting lower. It's turning, turning rather special. Uh, so making lots of effort. I've put on the uh, the 50 mil on the, ca on the camera just to give me a little bit more zoom because I left I left the 7, 70 to 200 at home. Um, it's so bloody heavy I barely ever carry it anymore, and especially when you've got to hike through dunes and stuff. So I got left, and I don't know how well it would have served us. I know Alan's using his at the minute, um, but yeah, I'm just kind of making do with with my 50. Uh, and I think we'll give, we'll even try some um, ICM with the Nifty 50 as well. Haven't done that in ages, and certainly haven't done it with the new camera either. So yeah, grab some more ICM images before this light drops too much, and then we'll, we'll see what happens when it touches down to that horizon. See what, see what light we get in the clouds and stuff. Right, well the sun is right on the horizon now, um, so we're getting maximum effect of colour. And it is, it's, it's, it's a lovely yellowy colour, which I'll, I'll obviously tinker in Photoshop and make it pink-ish, deeper orange or something like that, just to really accentuate this. A lot more contrast down this ridge will turn it lovely, maybe, hopefully. Um, if it doesn't come out properly, it's all Alan's fault. He led me here. I saw him lined up with his tripod out, pointing in a certain direction. I'm like, Alan's got a shot. I'm off to copy him. So, copy my half. Hopefully Photoshop can be get me out of this mess. Also, the bit I was gonna, gonna mention, I'm gonna try some wider shots because we have got that lovely wispy cloud up in the sky. Oh, just got a sliver of moon up there. Uh, so hopefully we're going to catch some of these wispy shots. So going very wide, full 16 mil on the 16.35, minimal ground, maximum sky, and see how that goes.
the sun is just just dropped so the light's gone from this area hopefully you could you saw in that previous shot the, just the very very small sort of movements I was having to use to get anything really ICM here it is a very flat area so you you do have to you, you know really concentrate on left and right uh, there's no room for twirls or twiddles whatever you want to call them uh, so it's very much a case of work, working with linear lines linear lines that's a funny one uh, and just really just left and right simple as that left and right on scenes like this uh, I could have been fancy and kind of followed the curve of of, of, of the water ret retreat retreating uh, but now it's just overcomplicating it it's just simple lefts and rights and hopefully we've got something to go on um, the cloudage that was up in this area has kind of got dissipated uh, so we're not going to get any catch light really dunes are all dull now so that's pretty much it so hopefully you've enjoyed this little uh, wander dander along to Beudel Bay uh, with us this evening. Alan's probably got some fantastic imagery. I won't have. I'll have to just make it up as we go along. Uh, and yeah, it's been been fun to get out on a lovely evening. The uh, mix change where it's not howling wind or snow or whatever. So yeah, great. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. So until the next one, keep a heart. See ya.